Good morning, everybody. As we start with our Fox 17 Live Doppler Radar, we had a couple of rain showers overnight, maybe a rumble of thunder. That has now shifted over towards the east side of the state. There's still a few uh, rumbles of thunder just south of Flint, but that is moving away from us. We'll see a fair amount of sunshine to start the day. You can see there's nothing going on to about Green Bay. And then there's some cloud cover up here to the north and west that's going to rotate on in here as we go through the afternoon hours. That could produce a spotty shower. Most of us won't see it, but the chance is there. Temperatures right now about 50 to 60, maybe 61 degrees across our southern counties. It's 59 there in Berry County and Hastings, 59 in Hopkins, 59 in Granville, 60 in Grand Rapids. We have 58 in Cedar Springs and 58 in Macosta County up there in Big Rapids. Let's look at the wind speeds today because these are going to ramp up. These these arrows represent the direction in which the wind is coming from. Those larger, wider numbers are the sustained winds over a two minute period, and those G numbers are the gust numbers. So we'll see west winds today at about 15 to 25 miles per hour with some gust up around 30 or 35. Overnight tonight, they'll still be up out of the west northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. This is 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then as we go through tomorrow, well, it'll be windy today, but breezy tomorrow. So those winds will be at about 10 to 20 miles per hour out of the uh, north and west tomorrow with some gusts up around 30. So uh, the nice thing about that is it's bringing in a much cooler, drier air mass. You'll feel the difference as you head out already this morning. We had high dew point temperatures yesterday, lots of humidity, and that air mass is now gone for the next several days. So we'll start mostly sunny. We'll turn partly cloudy. Maybe we turn partly sunny through the late Late afternoon hours. It is going to be cooler, less humid, maybe a spotty shower a little bit later today into the uh, early evening hours. Temperatures around 72 degrees out on Lake Michigan. You can see the blue outline here. That's a beach hazard statement issued by the National Weather Service. And here's what all that means. From Holland all the way up through about Whitehall, that area is red. That's a high beach hazard risk. Waves there running about three to five feet. Uh, moderate beach hazard risk there in orange south of Holland and then across Oceana County there with waves about two to feet there or two to four feet. And small craft advisories for you boaters with westerly winds at about 50. 15 to 25 knots, so not the best day to be on the boat. Cold front comes through today, but you'll see the clouds will build as we head through uh, and into the afternoon hours. Maybe a spotty shower out there, but most of us won't see that. And then overnight, partly cloudy skies. There's a trough of low pressure that will swing through tomorrow. That'll keep some cloud cover, some sunshine around, and maybe a spotty shower. Friday night into Saturday, there's not much going on. But as we get into the day on Saturday, you'll see here, this is Saturday morning. Here comes another low pressure area that could produce a couple of showers on uh, Saturday with uh, some cloud cover as well. So that's what we'll be watching here over the next few days. 72 today, 67 tomorrow, maybe a stray shower and breezy. 70 on uh, Saturday with a chance of a shower, breezy conditions there. And then on Sunday, we're 71 degrees, still a chance of a spotty shower. Then we should start to warm up into the mid to upper 70s. By the time we get into the middle of next week, 77 is the normal high for this time of the year. That's a look at our forecast. How about we check traffic? It's 651.